when you're in an accident and you're dealing with an insurance company in a lawsuit situation, why should you hire a personal injury lawyer? Well, hiring a personal injury lawyer um, is an important part of the process. And it, it's not necessarily that you need to hire the lawyer. You need to go in and have a consultation and find out exactly what your rights are, what you're giving away, what the insurance company's bottom line is as far as what they're trying to accomplish. And I think a person that's been in an accident, whether they're injured or not, is going to get a free consultation with any personal injury attorney and find out exactly what their options are and what to expect from the insurance company. And then at that point, if they don't feel comfortable dealing with the insurance company, which they probably shouldn't, then an attorney can step in and help them find their property damage getting fixed or medical care or whatever they need and explaining to them how that will happen and allowing us to kind of quarterback their care and making sure that the insurance company only deals with us and they can get on with the rest of their life. What's the first thing you should do after you've been in a crash? The first thing you should do after you've been in the crash is make sure that you're okay. Take a second, take a deep breath, and then understand your surroundings. Make sure the people that are in your vehicle are okay. And then once you've done that, you want to make sure that you're safe, that the vehicle is not a danger to you. If it is a danger, you need to get out of the vehicle very quickly and get away from it if there's some type of danger. If not, you need to make sure your pa passengers aren't hurt uh, or injured before you try to move them uh, it, out of the vehicle. And, and yourself as well, if you feel like you have a neck injury or a back injury, you should stay in your car until help arrives. And then once help arrives from EMS or the fire department, which the fire department's usually our first, they'll give you an evaluation right on the spot and then let you know what you need to do next. But I think being self-aware, taking a deep breath, and then understanding your surroundings, and that if you're not in danger right there but you feel like you're hurt, is to stay in the car until someone comes and helps. Do the insurance companies have attorneys on their side? The insurance companies have legions of attorneys. I mean, the, you have to understand, and the insurance companies aren't bad people. They insure all of us in case something happens, whether it's in a motor vehicle, whether it's homeowner's insurance, whether it's flood insurance. But at the end of the day, every one of these companies, our businesses, our corporations, our for-profit shareholders want to make sure that they do the best they can to give their shareholders money. We pay our premiums to protect us. And so at the end of the day, it's not necessarily that we're a number, but you need to have somebody there to advocate your rights and make sure you understand what your rights are. Because they do have a legion of attorneys. They have many, many adjusters out there. And they're not as forthcoming as they should be about everything that you're entitled to.